Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash, Season 5, Episode 12, I believe, of, like I said, The Flash Club, Mem Memorabilia. So we're starting off with Nora is doing a journal and she's starting to feel guilty about lying to her parents about working with the Reverse Flash, but she's still going to be, do she's still going to do it as she sent the latest injury to Thawne. And then we have West Allen family time, and this time it's ice skating, and Nora doesn't even know how to ice skate, but everyone else is like teaching her how to do it, and it's actually kind of like a very fun moment, and Team um, Flash is there too. Then we found out that Iris is getting off his thanks to Ralph because apparently his neighbor died. <laughs> And so they're trying to figure out what to do with that. So he's like, if you want to use those office, you can. And then Wells got um, something, as got a delivery as well. And it's a memory, a memory machine. And they're going to use it to wake up Grace. And um, he suggests to um, travel in pairs. But when you do that, you might see the other person's memory that came with you. Then Ralph... Asks Cisco for help, and he's uh, like, "Okay, I'll help you." And he's just like trying to at least trying to find Cicada. And then, and then Wells planted the receiver, and then we ignore decides to go in alone because she couldn't find a hat to block her memories from Barry. <clears throat> so she talks to Grace, and then we find out that the portal closed. Then Grace starts to uh, freak out just a little bit, but um, Nora calls her down, and they're trying to find another portal, portal out. And then we found out that Grace's brain is treating Nora like a pathogen. That's why they wanted people to travel in pairs. So Grace, um, so Nora asks Grace, like, hey, do you know of another place we can go? So she shows her the other memory of her being at, at her house with her uncle. And then we cut to where Cisco talks to a guy and talks about Cicada and how he's always like hurting people or whatever. And so he buys a piece of glass and it's a freaking band that is basically very metal that is spelled sick Cicada. <laughs> and um, then we cut to where uh, Barry and Ice go into the memories, and Barry and Ice are in Nora's mind, not Grace's. And the portal closed there as well. So they're in the memory, and they see the Flash Museum, which is all decked out with all of the Flash memorabilia you can think of, which is so cool to look at. And then we cut to where uh, Nora suggests to Grace, like, let's go to the last place you, um, you remember. How about the fair? So, um, she says, oh, okay. Then we cut to where Ralph tried to st um, set up Cisco. So, Cisco got the wrong idea of thinking that it was um, for Ralph to be a wee man, for, uh, for Cisco to be a wee man to Ralph, but it was the other way around. Just to have like a night off to blow steam and do something fun. Just that, like a little break. And then we cut to where Barry sees a hall of villains. And then we see the memory where Cicada never stopped offing people. Like, he just continued to do it. And he's more of a nuisance now than he was back then. And then we cut to uh, the... F so we cut to where Grace actually takes her to the hospital. And basically, she can hear everything that's happening <laughs> at the hospital. So... They think she's in a coma, but she's actually listening to everything that everyone is saying. And called Nora out. And so Cicada, which is like, I guess, like the brain's defense, um, that's supposed to be Cicada, attacks Nora. Then we cut to where Iris, uh, then we uh, cut to where the grown-up Iris fusses out Nora for, uh, stealing a Flash doll and being in a Flash museum and, like, Basically, it's very rude to her, and you know, picks basically like grabs her and leaves. <clears throat> and then we cut to where Barry still wants her to do the paper, and because like the only thing was like the um, Central City Citizen, 
So, um, and that was the same paper that was used, you know, for when he went, disappeared in crisis. So she just thought, like, if I didn't start it or chose another name, that it would be different. And he's like, it won't be, it still can be different, but he says, she'll still go ahead with that name. You should still go ahead and do the paper. And... She's like, oh, I don't know. And, you know, she's just kind of frustrated a little bit. Then, as they're leaving the thing, um, the first flash costume turns its head. Then we cut to where Ralph talks to Cisco, And, you know, this is like, what I said earlier, like, he should have a little break and have, like, a little fun. And then Fusco kind of flirts with the bartender. Then he got an idea to figure out how to get a cure done for the but a human cure and then they got an idea and then we have the first flash falls theory and iris then it's nora versus circada and then she managed to escape and then she got a phone call and also the same with barry and iris and it's caitlin and basically tells them that um one of the things it's not like the other basically like um one of the memories is like incorrect and you got to find that to help it uh get the real memory and that's how you can get the people out <clears throat> so nora's is the dollhouse and just the house in general is too neat looking and not you know how it actually is and then barry's is ours the grown-up iris's mem um how she illustrated nora so then we cut to Nora versus Cicada again, and then we reverse Flash versus Barry, and they did it, and we see that Iris was actually a lot nicer and kinder, like the Iris that we know. And then we cut to where uh, Nora managed to defeat Cicada for a, for a second, and then Grace refuses to wake up, and sends like another Cicada after her, which I think is like the grown up her. And then they escape. And we find out that uh, there's a uh, metahuman shard in her brain. And they don't, they're not going to remove it because it could be like very, it could hurt her. It could kill her basically. And uh, then Wills is, is formed form an idea about Nora because... He asked Barry, like, what was her defense mechanism? And he says, one of the suits, like, which one? The first flash suit. So he's starting to form an idea of what Nora's secret is. But he kind of covered for her when he said, oh, it's about her secret. And she's like, oh, you know, about your mom and how she was, like, rude, but not really rude. And then we cut to where um, Iris is moving forward with the paper, but she is changing the future because it was originally found in 2021 and now it's born in 2019. Then Nora talks to Iris and doesn't blame her for everything and she was just mad period and that's why, she, you know, she just apologizes for the way she acted. And then we cut to where Nora is back doing a journal entry and she's going to keep continuing to lie because apparently, um... The reverse flash or Eobarthon is the one helping her trying to get rid of Cicada and for him to, and to stop him. And then we cut to Grace wants them to pay. And we found out that shard in her um, brain is like part of metahuman tech that com that's probably connected to the same tech that Cicada is using that of the lightning bolt. And finally, Cisco got the cure done and also got a message from a girl at the bar. And then Barry wants to use the cure on Cicada. And that's the end of the episode. And that's also the end of this notebook. <laughs> or notepad. Um, let's see. I give this episode uh, a minus. I feel like they're alluding to maybe this cicada when he got cured that maybe the new cicada is actually going to be her in the future and that's why cicada never stopped and why that's why he reappeared in the future. So that's my take on that. 
uh, like a bit of foreshadowing or something. Um, I thought it was a really good episode. You get to see about like, um, you know, Grace is not all like Tim and everything. She's like, huh, I'm in charge basically. <laughs> And, you know, we're going to see, like, how Iris actually was as a mom and not how Nora perceived her. And, you know, and actually it's like, she actually was a good mom and not, like, super crazy pants, stripped and crazy. Like, they showed in the first couple, I was like, oh my god. But anyway, it was really good, really enjoyed it. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye everybody and sorry it's late i was playing a game and i kind of got distracted anyway bye everybody <laughs>